I'm making a message today. Romans 8, 8 and 9. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. My message today is 10 reasons why you don't have the spirit, but a thrill. What well, 10 reasons why, glory to God, you don't have a spirit. You don't have the spirit. You don't have the Holy Spirit, but a thrill. What is a thrill? Emotionalism. You have laughter. You barking like a dog. You slain in the spirit, but you don't have the character of the spirit. What is character of the spirit? Galatians 5, 22 and 23. So the reason why I'm making this message today, my friend, because I want to I wanna help you. Why you don't have the Holy Spirit but a thrill? There's 10 F's why you don't have the Spirit. 10 F's. Why well, I say 10 F's why you don't have the Spirit. Hey, glory to God. Friendship, faith, finance, frozen, fun, fantasy, freaky, false leader, fortune telling, fleshly activity, don't ignore the Heavenly Father where your fruit of the Spirit. Hey, glory to God. Let's let's focus on, hey, glory to God, number one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You, you need to change your friendship with people that's not going where you're going. Eagles don't hang around pigeons. And pigeons don't hang around eagles. So we, as Christians, we are eagles. We soars. In the atmosphere. Number two, you need faith in God, not and stop doubting. Amen. What I'm saying, you don't have the Holy Spirit because everything I'm I'm talking to you about, F. Number three, you let finance cut you short of processing God. You money hungry. Number four, you are frozen in your walk with God. And the reason why you're frozen, because the Bible says you need to hot or cold, but you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. When you say frozen, that means that God wants us to be hot or God wants us to be cold. Hey, glory to God. He didn't say frozen, cold. Hallelujah. Number five, you, you having fun and it does not agree with your walk with God. Too much parties or getting drunk. You ain't taking no communion. Number six, you are living a fantasy life rather than a glory to God, a life of reality. Number seven, you are living a life of freakiness and God will not bless mess. The Bible say, my friend, that God will not bless those that walk up, walk up. He'll bless through a walk of right level for him. So God don't bless mess. You might be fornicating and not married. Don't think you cause you got a job you bless. Don't think because glory to God, you got promotion, your job you bless. Blessings come from obedience. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God number eight. You not in the truth of God. These false leaders are leading you to the ditch. The Bible say, listen what the Bible say. The blind lead the blind and both fall into the ditch. You follow all these false leaders. Because of somebody preached the Bible, don't mean they're true. The Bible say, we shall know them by their fruits. The Bible say, my friend, know them that labor among you. Amen. And also, number nine, you are too much into fortune teller rather than what been been foretold through scripture of Daniel and revelation of the end of time. All these people that foretold, hallelujah, glory to foretelling, crystal ball reader, hallelujah, glory to, come on now, psychic hotline, come on, horoscope. You go to Style Magazine and trying to find out you're a spice, you're, you're a Pisces, you're, you're a Libra, you're a Virgo, you're, you're, you're a Capricorn. My friend, I don't worry. The only sign I need is a sign, glory to God, that a sign that, that, that a virgin shall be, shall be bear a, a child. His name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. That's the only sign I need. I don't need nobody to read, read my horoscope. None of your business what my horoscope is. It's the sign of the time, my friend. This evil and adulterous generation seeking the sign. The only sign I'm gonna give you. You was three days and three three nights in the in the bottom of the earth, like Jonah was three days 
in the whale belly and he prayed and the, and the, and, the, and the fish spit him out. So just talking about preacher. I'm talking about you are too much into fortune telling rather than go to the foretold through scripture of Daniel and revelation of the end of time. Amen. Number 10. You too much into fleshly activity and think it's anointing to dance and speak in tongues or holy laughter slain in the spirit these are activity not of the holy spirit you ever see people slain in the spirit it's not of god show me the bible where somebody was slain in the spirit and somebody always if it's a holy ghost don't, don't, don't nobody need to catch you come on if there's a holy ghost my friend the holy ghost lead, ought to lead you and guide you into all fall <laughs> into all truth so laughter the Bible says, the joy of the Lord is my say. They talk about you laughing loud in church. Amen. We got, we got, we got to know the word of God. If you don't know the word of God, my friend, you're going to be deceived. Amen. Hallelujah. And, the, and number 11, you can't ignore the Father to get to Jesus Christ. John, John 14, 6 says, Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. So you must go through Jesus. For Jesus Christ told Thomas, Have I been so long time with you and that you have not known me? When you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Ha, Lord. He said, I, in John chapter 10, 30, he said, I and my Father are one. That's why I don't understand people don't believe don't believe in the Godhead. I'm not gonna say Trinity. The word Trinity is not in the Bible. But guess what? Let us make man in our own image in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. In Matthew 3, 7, 16, 17, the Bible says, My friend, a voice came from heaven and a dove, and Jesus Christ, this is my beloved son, who am well pleased. So the Trinity is not in the Bible. But the pluralities in the Bible, you say, three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Spirit, and these three are one. So I believe in the one, but there are three entities of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Matthew 28, 19, teach them, teach them to observe all things, baptized in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And guess what? He say, go to God, baptizing them in the name of Jesus for remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. What's talking about, preacher? Ten reasons why you don't have the Spirit, but a thrill. A thrill can't save you, my friend. But you need the Holy Spirit. Because if you have not the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, you are none of His. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number twelve reason. You don't manifest the fruit of the Spirit, which is the new character. Hey man, we did a new character. What's a new character, preacher? Love. The Bible says, my friend, Galatians 22, 23, but the fruit of the Spirit is a fruits. He say fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, serenity, long suffering, gentleness, gentle, goodness, faith, meekness, humble, temperance, self control. Against such there is no law. If you have these character, you don't need to keep the law because all this fulfill the law of God. The law was not made for a righteous man, but for the unrighteous, the unruly. So to talk about preacher, ten reasons why you don't have the spirit, but you have a thrill.